Yo, so back in the day when I used to party, I don't know if you guys uh, thought like this, but I definitely did where I got to a point where I started realizing the difference in strengths as far as certain drinks. And I'm like, okay, why would I sit here drinking beer, right? If the goal is to get turned, right? Because there were some nights where it's just like, you just wanted to get blasted. And I was like, why would I sit here sipping liquid bread, getting full, bloated, not feeling good versus just fixing a nice, solid, straight glass of whiskey or tequila or whatever, right? Go for the stronger alcohols and just get to where I want to be sooner than later. Um, still have room in my stomach to eat some wings or something like that, you know, and just chill and kick it. That's the same way I feel about the truth. I'll think about it. Like we all have this innate collectiveness like there, there's certain things that no matter what right when it comes to grief when it comes to sorrow you know feelings of joy and happiness we can all relate and resonate on that level uh sometimes on the same thing right it'll be one movie that's just so sensational and it doesn't matter your walk you're black you're white muslim it doesn't matter if you're you're, you're christian Jew, like it doesn't matter we all gravitate towards that one thing right? and I, and for me i started thinking about underdog stories and how even for instance like david and and the goliath story we all know that story right that's one of the more popular stories of the bible that even people who um aren't you know religious or like christ focused they will still mention that story and give it reverence for whatever uh anecdotal or example that they're trying to correlate it to and it just got me thinking like preparation creates separation right and when you're separated right you're being prepared that's what that statement means essentially and if you think about david and goliath it's like the reason why goliath wasn't a big deal to david even though he was physically right a big deal he was literally one of the nephilim um, which were the giants that were uh the offspring of the angels that had fallen down and started commingling with the uh the women down here because they're like yo these chicks kind of bad down here you know what i'm saying and the angels started the fallen angel started having sex with these women and birthing children birthing giants so yeah there's a lot of truth that's coming out about that as well too and it's just bringing bringing to light that ecclesiastes verse where there's nothing new under the sun so all these movies that you see right like think about it superman you know coming down to the earth and him having to go to antarctica to rediscover his power and whatnot and try to restore what was lost because krypton you know fell it's like yeah krypton are the fallen angels that lost the battle against saint michael and, and all god's other angels and you know they were cast down to the earth essentially and um trapped by the firmament all of that man it gets crazy but you know cal l you know when you start looking at the l the a lot of the fallen angels like they had l at the end of their names as well too um it's all in front of us like they're putting it all in front of us it's insane uh but then superman next thing you know he's falling in love with lois lane it's like wait so how are these and there's various different movies where it's like that where it's like this intergalactic extraterrestrial being is coming down to earth and then falling in love with an earthling it's like doesn't even make sense but all these stories are tied to the bible that's what you got to understand and um i don't know about y'all but that excites me because the more that i understand that it's like yeah even the people who don't believe even the people who consider themselves atheists it's like the way you move like you're 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 part of god's creation even the the i think it's in colossians there's various scriptures colossians and hebrews as well it talks about how the dominions, the principalities, right, the darkness, that, that was all created by the Most High as well, too. So everything belongs to God, regardless. So um, if you love demonic movies and stuff like that, yeah, you know, you may be the seed of Satan. But just understand, again, Satan was one of God's angels as well, too. So get owned is what I'm trying to say. But uh, nonetheless, it's it's uh, it's just a. Uh, it's understanding, though, that before david fought goliath going back to that uh he had already spent time in his own air quotes wilderness right and that's aka for anyone who's going through isolation season anyone who's going through uh what you would call a tough time you're going through those things in preparation for a greater battle that's like the overarching analogy when it comes to the true story of david and goliath because that wasn't an analogy that happened right he was fighting lions and bears you know to protect the sheep that he was shepherding so when it came to this giant in front of him he was looking at them like yo y'all gonna let this man run his mouth bro who is this uncircumcised philistine like yo you gonna catch this man or not because if if y'all not throwing hands with him he about to catch these hands right and that's how the story went at least in my mind 
And um, he handled that. You know what I mean? He handled that without a sword, you know, because he was fighting lions and tigers and bears. So it's like whatever you're currently experiencing, it's 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 all a preparation phase. And that's something that I have to tell myself because it gets tough, man. I mean, it gets tough. It definitely gets dark sometimes where it's just like, man, what the hell is going on? You know, what is actually happening right now? And that goes back to that scripture where it says, consider it true joy. You know, my brothers, when you go through um, trials, you know, trials and, and tribulations, because it's all a test and it's all um, stewarding to the increasing of your endurance so that when you face real issues, when you face bigger fish that you have to fry, you got the pan and the oil for it, you know, and um, there's a pastor that was going in about the book of Revelations. And the reason why the book of Revelations has been uh, kind of distanced from a lot of people is because it, it's hard to understand because a lot of what's happening there is, is supernatural. And, you know, with the thing that happened in Miami recently and even before that, I mean, there's videos that, that are like spirits in Brazil getting caught on camera and things like that. There's going to come a point in time where it's like these dimensions are going to start crossing. That's what the book of Revelations is all about. You know, uh, the seals are going to be broken and there's already various other kinds of seals that are being broken, like the seals of truth are being are, are being broken right now. The The book of truth is open and, you know, people are really, again, just it's it's a fine divide right where like christ said i've not I, i've not come to bring peace but a sword and a sword separates a sword divides and you're really seeing you know who's walking in truth and who's not and again when it talks about the wheat and tares people think that the wheat and tares are like the sinners uh which is all of us right but the sinners and the 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 saints right the the unbelievers versus the believers and it's like no that's too close right believers and unbelievers don't grow that closely together it's readers who are actually in their book and doing the studies and seeking out you know the extra biblical text and and all of that right and if you need help with that definitely tap into a gathering 144 on youtube man um they have a hebrew bible academy i have my first class today and it's just more layers you know but but i've been looking at their videos for the last eight months on youtube the free content and it's like yo these guys go in to a point where it's like, I have to get into that academy. I have to see what, what other layers that they're peeling back. I have to hear them gloves off, you know, and, and not tapered by the YouTube algorithm and bots and things of that nature. Um, but, yeah, man, you know, it's like the artifacts, the, the evidence, the, the historical evidence is what I mean. The research, the data, all of that, man. Even even books and records that have nothing to do with the Bible, but just have to do with other territories that recorded certain historical events that happened. When they all align, it's undeniable. You know, there's no other book out there that's doing that, right? And any other books that claim to do it, they're copying from the Bible, you know? So it's like, man, it's just, it's really just time to wake up, man, and just read because, you know, following these pastors who, again, are under certain influences that aren't Christ uh, and really they're wolves in sheep's clothing. And that whole Old Testament is talking about how a lot of the the uh, cities in Jerusalem and Judah, uh, the, the nation that was under God, the children of Israel, right, the, the seed, the heritage of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, they were all led astray because they had their pastors and their prophets and their priests and their kings dealing with them falsely. So. If we talk about how history repeats itself, right, if we talk about how we need to know our history so that it doesn't repeat itself, then, again, we got to be vigilant in understanding that if they were doing it then, and if Ecclesiastes says there's nothing new under the sun, right, and if when Christ was asked, like, how will I know the sign of your coming, right, what, what will be the signs of the last days? And the first thing Christ says before even giving full-on signs, he first heeds them and says take heed that no man deceive you right because many will come and say that they are christ you got these other religions buddhas and all that are like yeah yeah, no we we believe in christ but then they're adding all this other stuff it's like you be careful you know what i mean because it's it's gonna come as a angel of light but really taking you to darkness so anyways love salute